it's June the 4th, day three, and look who I've got here. I've got a new little friend. And she's the cutest. <laughs> she's the cutest thing ever. This is Tally. Say hi. Tally. And she's not mine, guys. She's actually Lizzie's, who is here. Hello. <laughs> Tally, hello, darling. Isn't she the cutest thing in the world? I want another puppy. Mike, can we get another puppy, please? Oh, she's so cute. She's cute. She looks like a little bear. Do you want to tell tell everybody some more about her? Uh, her full name is Talisker, which is a type of Scottish whiskey. Um, and she's shortened to Tally for short. Uh, she's 12 weeks old and she's a jack a doodle. So that's a jack a doodle. She's three quarter Jack Russell and then one quarter poodle. And that's um, why she's got a bit of curl. Yeah. And she's pretty naughty. She can just about sit. That's about it. Can we try and make her sit? Okay. She's really chilled. Apparently she's just been on a really long walk, so she's... Two cheeks. Come on, right. Okay, Tally. this is how small she is. Tally, Tally, sit, sit. Oh, oh, good girl. <laughs> oh my God, she's so cute. Will she fetch? Uh, not well. What's this? She's more interested in sticks and balls. Tally, <whistles> what's this? She likes the golf club. What's this? <gasps> Get it. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh my god, she's so tiny! <laughs> you just like cuddles, don't you? So, Lissy and Tally have gone home now. How cute was that puppy? She's going to be coming over tomorrow as well. Um, so, I'm sure you guys will see her in tomorrow's vlog if you thought she was cute. I honestly miss Wolf being a puppy so much. You forget how cute puppies are. But, anyway, for the rest of today's vlog, I thought I would show you how I cooked the muffins from yesterday's video because I got lots of requests showing you how to do them. They're really easy. It's not my recipe like I said before. Um, it's from the Tone It Up Girls website which I will link in the information bar below. Um, they have amazing recipes on there as well as like um, obviously exercise kind of routines and tips and videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've been getting really into their channel and their website recently so that is cool. Anyway, on to the cooking. So, the recipe is actually um, an American recipe, so it's done in cups, but I've converted it into grams and stuff, so I'll actually write it all down in um, the information bar below as well, so you guys can check it out if you want to know um, how to cook it if you are working on grams instead of cups. But, anyway, getting into it, the first thing you're going to need is three bananas and you want to peel these and mash these in a bowl which I will show you in a second and you want to just do it using a fork okay so once you have mashed the banana up it will look like this which I've literally just mashed up using a fork and it works better the riper the banana the better obviously because it's mashy and now it kind of looks like sick mm. so what you're going to do next is add all of the wet ingredients together so I'm going to put in one egg now, the actual recipe called for chia, but I couldn't get hold of any chia, so I kind of replaced it with an egg due to the consistency, because I think chia seed and water kind of makes a kind of gel, apparently. I don't know, I've never used it, but anyway, I replaced it with an egg, and it worked really well in the recipe yesterday. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to put in 60 grams of apple sauce, or one-third of a cup. And I'm trying to open it with one hand right now. And to be honest, 60 grams is pretty much, like, that's how much I used in yesterday's. So it's around half. It's just under half. So I'm going to chuck in the rest of this apple sauce. And you can actually make your own apple sauce. But to be honest, I just bought the Waitrose Essential apple sauce. So I'm going to put that in. Once I've done that, I'm going to start mixing all of the dry ingredients together. So I have some scales here. And you want to put 45 grams or half a cup of... Um, rolled oats. These are Waitrose Organic Rolled Oats. So we want 45. And then I'm going to put in 120 grams of whole wheat flour. Again, I have um, Dutchy Originals Organic Stone Ground Wholemeal Plain British Flour, which actually is a little messy, so I'm going to switch the camera off for this. Okay, so that's 120 grams or one cup of whole wheat flour. And then finally, I'm going to put in 100 grams or half a cup of 
um, brown sugar. Now, I actually couldn't get organic brown sugar in my supermarket for some reason, but obviously, as far as possible, if you want to make it as like healthy as possible, um, you should use organic ingredients, but I kind of went halfway there because I couldn't get a lot of them. So I'm going to pop that and in. And after the sugar, I'm going to put in one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Just kind of rough. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And once all of that is in, and we can focus on it like that, um, the last thing we're going to do is put in a little bit of raw 100% cacao. Now this I actually got, it doesn't have the label on anymore, but it's Willie's cacao, and you can get it from Waitrose. I don't know about other supermarkets, but that's where I got mine from. And we want to put in, it says... I can't remember the cup amount, I'll put it in the information bar below, but I remember it said about 70 or 80 grams or something, and I thought that looked like too much, so in mine I put in 60 grams, and it was actually fine, so I'm actually just going to um, see how much we have in this like half here, and see what it weighs. Okay, so that is 35 grams, so we're going to need this plus a little bit more, and this comes in this big kind of chunks, I think you can buy it in kind of nib form, um, or broken up, but as far as I know, in UK supermarkets at the moment, you can only kind of get it in this format, unless you kind of find speciality places to shop. So what I tend to do is chop it up. I've recruited mum to film now so I can actually do this, but as you can see, if you get a big knife, this stuff actually kind of breaks up. I say that easily, it doesn't, um, fairly easily, and it is kind of messy. It tends to kind of flake if you can see this, but it does, um, it does kind of break up like that. So what you need to do is do that to the whole block and then put in about 60 grams. So once you've done that and created quite a lot of mess, you wanna pop it in there. And then you just want to mix all of the dry ingredients together. And you can do this with a spoon, and you can do it with clean hands. Um, you can do it with dirty hands too if you want, but that would be very nice. Um, to mix all the dry ingredients together. And then once you've mixed those, pop them in with the banana and other wet ingredients and then just stir all these together. And it kind of looks like some really gloopy muesli. Okay, so now you're ready to start spooning the mixture out into your muffin cases. And this is just a silicone muffin tray. Um, you can get them from pretty much any cook shop or kind of department store. But um, I find that these are very, very small. They're kind of mini muffin size, if you can see compared to my hand. So they kind of make the perfect kind of little sized snack either if you want to um, eat in between meals, have a kind of healthy snack, or you can eat a couple of them for breakfast, or you can have one for breakfast along with a few other things. Anyway, I find that these are the perfect size kind of mini muffins. Um, and this mixture will make 20. So kind of one heaped tablespoon will fill up the muffin case and you just want to almost fill it up to the top. Um, I've sprayed a little bit of olive oil onto them just to stop them sticking, but you shouldn't need muffin cases or anything. Once they're cooked, you can just pop them right out. But I did spray a tiny bit. I actually used olive oil, but um, olive oil is probably not the best oil to be using for it, but it's just the only one that my mum had in her kitchen. So I want to cook them for between 10 and 20 minutes, depending on your oven. As this oven actually isn't set, it's on all the time and you can't adjust the heat, so you kind of have to play it by ear. Um, but between 10 and 20 minutes, you want to check them at 10 um, and see how they're done, but don't leave the door open for too long, otherwise they might sink. Um, but you can kind of tell when they're done because they go nice and kind of raised and brown. But I'm just going to fill all these in and pop them in, and then I will show you the finished results. Okay, so here they are. They've just come out of the oven, and then for the purpose of showing you how to do this, you should probably wait until they're a little bit cooler. Um, they're kind of hot. I might actually need to use this. You can just pop them out of the silicone, and then you have your little mini muffin ready to eat, and they are super, super tasty. So I'm really, really excited actually to try these um, with a kind of like variation on the recipe, maybe throw in some dried cranberries or raisins um, and a few other things like that. I think it will be cool to sprinkle some oats on top so they look a bit prettier as well because they aren't the most appetizing looking thing, but they actually taste amazing. So let me know if you guys try out this recipe or 
if you've got any recommendations for any other kind of healthy, um, non-healthy recipes, if you get what I mean, like healthy cake recipes, um, that would be awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this like super fast. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I have to kind of edit it together, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little cooking how-to video. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Um, I'm actually going to be doing another kind of cooking related video tomorrow. It'll be more like a supermarket vlog and then cooking, but I think we're going to do Jubilee smoothies. Um, me and Lissy, who you saw earlier, are going to do Jubilee smoothies, which should be really exciting. So I will see you all tomorrow for June to 4th. Stay 4. Bye guys!